It's the hotel that wouldn't surrender to the terrorists. Bombed 33 times during the troubles, it was targeted so often it became known as the Hardboard Hotel. Now though, it's a symbol of Belfast's survival. And on the eve of the anniversary of the peace deal, it's proof that normality has returned to this city. It went off only moments after the hotel had been evacuated. For this hotel was once on the front line of Northern Ireland's conflict, its history interlinked with the cities. But time has now passed and a new generation has grown up in the shadow of peace. The hotel's current owner, though, grew up in the shadow of the gun. He remembers the last bomb here. We evacuated the building and from a distance of about 150 yards, an almighty explosion, a short period of peace and then the sound of the glass hitting the ground. I think we have to pinch ourselves to, to realise how far we've come. So as you can see in our photograph here of the couple and the signed photograph from when they stayed with herself. But this hotel was part of the peace story too. The Clintons stayed in this room as the tentative negotiations began. Tomorrow's 20 year anniversary. I suppose maybe to be thankful for maybe how things have developed and how people back then had the foresight to see there's a better future and peace was a better way to go. Preparations are underway to host the VIP visitors who come tomorrow to remember something no one who lived through here can ever forget. We had police on the roads all the time, so that was just normal for us. A load of loud noises and bombs going on, but that was just normal, that's all we knew. So it wasn't really not normal for us. Tonight, one of the original architects of the peace deal checked into the hotel for the anniversary. The overwhelming majority of people in Northern Ireland, in all communities, don't want to go back to the difficulties of the past. And while there remain political differences, social differences, that's true of all societies. The Hotel Europa has flourished since the troubles, as has Belfast. Tomorrow, those who brought violence to an end here will meet to remember the moment they changed history. Penny Marshall, News at 10, Belfast.